Typhoon Tesoy or Kamuri leaves a trail of destruction across the Bicol region Tuesday, December 3. It made landfall in Gubat, Sorsogon Monday, December 2, uprooting trees in Sorsogon City and damaging several houses. Strong winds knock a truck to its side at Legaspi Boulevard. Nearby roads are also covered with sand due to strong waves from the shoreline. Roofs of homes in Barangay Basud and Polangi Albay are torn off. Legaspi Airport sustains heavy damage as well. Albay Governor Al Francis Bichara says the ceiling of the airport collapsed and the windows are broken. The Department of Social Welfare and Development in Bicol says at least 162,000 Bicolanos were displaced as of midnight December 2. Domestic and international flights to and from the Philippines were also cancelled from Monday December 2 until Wednesday December 4. Classes on Tuesday December 3 were suspended in affected areas including Metro Manila. Workers and employees on duty share funny tweets and memes sending hashtag we swim as one to the trending list on Twitter. The hashtag is a wordplay on the we win as one slogan of the SEA Games 2019, which is now happening in different areas in Luzon. One Twitter user says in Filipino, wake up, do not wait for the suspension of classes, you are no longer a student. Ha ha ha, hashtag we swim as one. Twitter user Maia says, We might not be players of the SEA Games, but we are players of the company. So, boss, we swim as one. I don't see you swimming, I'm telling you. User Shalea compares how typhoons are dealt with in other countries and in the Philippines. User Chantal, meanwhile, labels the workers braving the weather immortal. User Ansel G. Lopez says, literally, SEA Games. President Rodrigo Duterte fills up two vacancies in the Supreme Court, leaving the High Court with only one empty seat. A high-ranking source confirms to Rappler the president appointed Court of Appeals Justices Edgardo de los Santos and Mario Lopez. They replace retired Justices Antonio Carpio and Francis Hardeleza. De los Santos, 67, is the son of a fisherman and has been a Cebu-based CA Justice for more than 11 years. In the Visayas, he is known as a Habal Habal Justice. He drives himself to court and his family to work in school using his motorcycle. Cycle, a Honda Econo Power. He penned the lauded writ of Calicasan decision that shut down the controversial Inawayan landfill in Cebu City. Lopez, for his part, has a law degree from San Beda College, the alma mater of President Rodrigo Duterte. Lopez's recent CA decisions include the affirmation of the labor case victory of GMA 7 workers against the TV network and the denial of a petition for the writ of amparo of rights groups against alleged army harassment. Philippine Arnis team finishes its 2019 Southeast Asian Games bid with a total of 14 gold medals Tuesday, December 3. Chris Samuel Delphin and Mary Allen Aldeguer sweep the annual open weapon non-traditional events, adding two more golds to the Philippine Hall. Meanwhile, traditional annual performers Mark David Puzon and Raisa Giselle Sanchez fell short of the gold, losing to Vietnam and Myanmar respectively. Philippine Arnis remains the contingent's most bemedaled team, with 14 golds, 6 silvers, and 2 bronzes, for a total of 22 medals. World champion gymnast Carlos Yulo amasses one more gold for floor exercise and two silvers from horse pommel and still rings. As of 8 p.m. Tuesday, December 3, the Philippine Hall consists of 47 golds, 29 silvers, and 17 bronzes. The country still tops the game's tally with 93 medals in total. Vietnam comes in second with 75 medals and Malaysia in third with 34 medals. Watch out for Rappler's Daily Rap on the 2019 Southeast Asian Games. Seasoned diplomat Huang Xilian, Beijing's former ambassador to the Association of Southeast Asian Nations or ASEAN, is the Chinese government's next ambassador to the Philippines. Huang landed in Manila past midnight Tuesday. A diplomat with at least three decades of experience in Asia and Southeast Asia, Huang follows the five-year stint of former Chinese ambassador to the Philippines Zhao Jianhua. In a short message, Huang says he was very honored and grateful to serve in the Philippines, where he felt back at home. Huang likewise expressed his astonishment over achievements seen in the Philippines under the Duterte administration. Philippines-China relations have seen a full turnaround under the Duterte administration, pivoting from longtime allies such as the United States to countries like China and Russia. Like his predecessor Zhao, Huang is expected to be dealing with hot-button issues like Chinese aggression in the West Philippine Sea. Forbes magazine recognizes Filipino actress Angel Loxin in its annual Heroes of Philanthropy list. The list honors billionaires, entrepreneurs, and celebrities across the Asia-Pacific who are committed to solving some of the most pressing issues. Loxin is singled out for donating over 1 million pesos to those hit by the 2019 earthquakes in Mindanao and personally making sure relief goods reach survivors. Forbes also cites her work in assisting those displaced by the 2017 war. She donated as much as 15 million pesos for causes like educational scholarship 
leaderships, supporting the economic and political rights of indigenous people, and ending violence against women and children. The former Darna actress also decided to skip the highly anticipated ABS-CBN ball this year, opting instead to donate directly to Bantay Bata the amount she was supposed to spend in the ball. SM Prime's Hansi is also on Forbes list for his donations to Child House, a charity helping cancer-stricken children and their caregivers. Thank you.